Good morning, children. A happy morning for you all. How are you all today? Mm, so, are you all ready for our UW lesson? Let's see what do we have today. Our learning objective for today is learners will learn about how technology has changed our lives. And our learning outcomes are learners will be able to understand how technology has made our lives easier than before. Before we start today's lesson, let us revise. We all know that technology has made our lives easy and comfortable, right? So we have learned about technology. Now, can you pause the video and with your mommy or daddy or anybody who is supporting you for e-learning, you can go to each room of your house and look at the things. How many technologies you use in each room? And which room has the most technology? Think about the days when we had no technology, children. Hmm. Yes, you're right. Long ago, people didn't have access to technology. But now, technology is used by us in almost all the things we do today. So, let us see how it has changed our lives. So children, can you tell me what do you see in this picture? Yes, we can see so many transports over there. So many vehicles, buses, trucks, cars, vans, etc. So let's talk about how transport has changed our lives. You know children, People use cars, buses, and metro trains to go to work. Hmm. Think about what if these cars, buses, and metros were not there? What would have been happened, children? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. You're right. It's very difficult without cars, buses, and metro trains to go to workplace in very short time. They really help us to get to work quickly, right? These technologies of transport have made travel easy. And moreover, they save our time. Look at this picture, children. What she is doing? Yes, she is using a laptop, a computer. So let's talk about how computer has changed our lives. They are used for sending mails. Mm. So, if your teacher wants to send you something, how does she send? Yes, she sent a mail and quickly your mama or dada, they receive it too, right? They are used for online shopping. They are used for banking. They are used for listening to music and playing games too. Look at this girl, children. What she is doing? Yes, you're right. She is doing her homework, right? But what do you think which time of the day it is? Mm, you're right. It is night time. So now we are going to talk about how lighting has changed our lives. People can do their routine work in the evening and nights too. Just imagine children if there were no lights. What would have been happened at nights? Because we don't get sunlight at night, right? Mm, so lighting has really helped us. People can do shopping during evening. People in factories can work in the night. And students can easily study in the night too. You can do one thing. Mm, not now, but when the sun sets, you can switch off all the lights in one room and see if you can see something. Mm, you can do that activity and see how you will feel without the light if you want to do something, okay? 
look at this picture children what technology she is using yes you're right it is a vacuum cleaner how vacuum cleaner has changed our lives let's talk about it it makes cleaning floor very easy and convenient it removes dirt and dust easily to make our home germ free hmm now let's talk about how washing machine has changed our lives a washing machine can wash several dirty clothes in one load it takes very little effort to load the machine with dirty clothes just imagine children what would have happened if there were no washing machine hmm we had to wash clothes one by one right we cannot wash more than one cloth when we wash it with our hands so, but in the washing machine we can put several dirty clothes together right it saves a lot of time and effort so the thing which we do one by one with hand when we if we use it by hand we would have been doing it like taking one cloth in hand then washing it then spread it then taking another one then wash it then spread it so it takes a lot of time but in washing machine it quickly washes so many clothes together and apart from that in washing machine we can get the clothes dry too look at this picture children i know we all know that this is an aeroplane but can you think how does it help how this technology help us okay so let's talk about how aeroplane has changed our lives we can travel thousands of miles of distance in short time by traveling in an aeroplane just imagine if there were no aeroplane mm, it would take a lot of days and months to go from one country to another country mm, but if there were no transport at all it's not even possible right mm, but thanks to the technology that we have this facilities nowadays we can transport things to long distances easily in an aeroplane people can easily work in foreign countries as we are doing now right our mama and dada they are working in uae but whenever you get vacation you go to your country in aeroplane right and you quickly reach to your native country your mother country and now traveling home is easy because of aeroplane look at this girl she is having a video chat with her friend so let's talk about how smartphone has changed our lives we can make audio and video calls anytime anywhere using internet we can access any information all the time it provides us many utilities in one device like calculator radio music calendar flashlight etc we can click pictures anytime we can send and access emails too so before we talk we do it in the laptop right but in mobile also we have this option now can you click your picture in the mobile you can ask your mama or dada to give their mobile and click a picture okay okay children can you tell me what do you see in this picture yes it is an elevator let's think now pause the video and think how do they help us and when do we use it where do we use it do you have elevators in your building Mm, which is your floor think about if there were no elevators what would have happened so let's talk about how elevators have changed our lives elevators have made moving up and down the floors very easy yes children so answer is if there were no elevators it would have been very difficult to climb on to those floors right the highest one it will take it will consume lot of time plus it will give us 
pain in our legs and it will not be possible to live in tall buildings like we do now. They have made it possible for people to live in tall buildings. They made it possible for a large number of people to live in the same building and they made lives of elderly and physically challenged people easy. It's reflection time. Let's see what do we have in today's activity. Okay, so to do this activity, you need to scan the QR code given below. Okay, so after doing the activity, click the pictures and send to your teacher. Bye-bye children. See you soon. Stay home and stay safe.